This is the fifth section of the trigonomic identities and equations chapter. And you're looking at uh, solving harder trig equations. So we already know that we use our calculator to find a principal solution. Principal or the first solution. That's done on our calculator. That doesn't change. What may change is the way that we use our cast diagram. Now, all the cast diagrams we did uh, before, all the answers, they wanted answers between 0 and 360, um, and that was fine. But there are equations where you may need to go around your cast diagram uh, more than once. And I'll show you what those things uh, look like. Um, let's put negative 90 here, just to show you, like, you know, we can we can go wherever we like in a cast diagram. So, for example, if I had an equation where I was asked to solve sine 2 theta or cos 2 theta or tan 2 theta, when you do these questions, you go round the cast diagram twice. Diagram twice. So actually, when you go around, you're going to go around until you get to 720 degrees. The reason being is that all of our answers are going to get divided by 2 because we've got 2 theta. If I had something like tan 3 theta, then you go around 3 times. Yeah, if it was sine 5 theta, you go around 5 times. So in in other words, this number that's in front of theta tells you how many times to go around the cast diagram. In the previous ones, they were just theta, so you just go around once. So if you've got sine n theta, cos n theta, tan n theta, okay, you're going to go around the cast diagram n times. So go around cast diagram n times yeah otherwise we could end up losing solutions if you have something like this sine uh, let's say 2 theta plus 30 okay if you've got any number added here actually let's just make it sine theta plus 30 if you've got like a number like this added you need to go back in your cast diagram, okay? So you, you do need to go backwards like this, yeah? If I had something like cos theta plus something, uh, minus something, minus 70, for example, then in your cast diagram, um, you need to go a bit further than you'd normally do. So if you're going to stop here, you need to go around a bit further to here yeah but it's so that we don't lose solutions you'll see that in a moment when we do some examples so just be aware that you need to go around the cast diagram more times than you've been used to right part a we're going to solve this equation here in the interval 0 to 360 now that 3 theta is telling us uh, we're going to go around the cast diagram three times Let's do that. Um, but before that, we need to find a principal solution. So I need to do the, I've got cos 3 theta equals 0 0.766. Then cos inverse of 0 0.766 is going to equal 3 theta. And what does 3 theta equal? So notice it's not just theta. It's 3 theta. So um, cos inverse 0 0.766. And it's pretty much 40 degrees. Okay. One decimal place, even two decimal places, it's 40 degrees. So at this point, what you don't do is divide that by 3 to find out what theta is. We use the cast diagram before we do anything else, right? So 
just my past diagram. Naught, ninety, uh, one eighty, two seventy, C A S T. So um, let's put on the forty degrees. So I don't solve anything yet. I use that principal solution as it is. So forty, forty. 40, 40. So I've got 3 theta is 40. So that solution landed in, uh, or that principal solution is here, where everything is positive. I'm solving an equation for cos. And where else is cos positive? Down here. Right, so straight away I can see another solution is 360 minus 40. So this angle here, this angle is 360 minus 40. Now that's what 3 theta is, not theta. So 3, th 3 theta, another solution, is 360 minus 40. Now I said we need to go around three times, so we haven't finished yet. Another solution. When we go around a second time, is this one? This will be 360 plus 40. 360 plus 40. When we go around just before we finish the second time around, we go to here. Now this will be 720 the second time around, so this will be 720 minus 40. And the next one after that was going to be 720 plus 40. So let me just keep track of how many times I've gone round. So once to get to 360, twice to get to 720. We've just done 720 plus 40. So you want to go all the way around and stop here. So that's going to be 720 plus another 360. So that would be 1,080 minus 40. So let's write that down. 1,080 minus 40. So what are all these three thetas? 40, uh, 320, 400, 680, 760, and a thousand and forty. We now divide them by three, and you'll see why we, we had to go around three times. Right, so we'll give our answers to one decimal place. So forty divided by three is thirteen point three. Then three twenty divided by three. That's a hundred and six point seven. Then 400 divided by 3, that's 133.3. So can you see why we had to go around? Um, if we had only, only gone around once, we only would have got these answers. If we had only gone around twice, we would have got these ones and these ones. Can you see what happens when we divide them by 3? We get all of these different solutions that you wouldn't have got uh, before if you'd only gone around once because we're dividing by three at the very end. So the next one is 226.7, 226.7, then 760 divided by three is 253.3, And the last one, 1040 divided by 3, and we get 346.7. Yeah, so if we didn't go around three times, we'd have only got those two. That's what we got going around the second time. This is what we get from going around the third time. So it's important that we do that. 
Right, solve the equation at sine 2x plus 16 equals 0 0.3 in the interval. This is a slightly different one. Only from 0 to 180. Right, let's see what happens here. So sine 2x plus 16 is 0 0.3. So the first thing we're going to do is do the sine inverse of 0 0.3. So I get 17.5 rounded. So what's that? Sine inverse 0.3 is 17.5. That's 1 dp. So that means that 2x plus 60 is 17.5. That's our first solution for 2x plus 60. Straight to the class diagram, don't start solving anything just yet. 0, 90, 180, 270. And uh, we'll put on that angle 17.5 degrees. So that'll be like this. Here's my 17.5 degrees. Um, let's put on the C A S T. Um, and all these other ones are 17.5 as well. And um, because I, well, my principal solution was here where everything is positive and uh, I'm solving an equation for sine where else is sine positive over here yeah now the 2x means go around twice and then we're going to watch out for this plus 60 at the end you'll see one in a moment so let's just write down 2x plus 60 is equal to, so we've got 17.5 um, and then we've got um, 180 minus 17.5 17 then we've got to go around a second time uh, because of the 2x here so the next one's going to be 360 plus 17.5 and then um, that's 540, isn't it? 540 minus 17.5. Now, for each one of these, to find x, I need to take every single one of these values that I've written down. I need to take away 60 and then divide by 2, because I've got 2x plus 60 is all of these. So 17.5 minus 60, 17.5, minus 60, divide by 2. Now, that's no good because I get a negative answer. I'll actually write it down and then maybe we'll, we'll cross it out in a moment and we'll discard any solutions that are um, not valid. So from that 17.5, I will get negative. 21.25 okay so that's not a valid solution it, it must only be between um, 0 and 180 that's my range so if I do 180 180 and I subtract 17.5 then subtract 60 from that then divide that by 2 I will get 51.25 or 51.3 if I round it so that's fine, I can take that. So 51.3, that's fine, it's in the range. Okay, so we've worked through this one, this one. So we're now on to the next one. 360 plus 17.5. Then take away 60 from that. Divide that by 2. And I get 158.75 or 158.5. Uh, 8 that's fine I can take that that's in the range 
so I can tick that one off and the next one is going to be 514 minus 17.5 um, which is 522.5 I'll take away 60 divide that by 2 and I get 231.25 I'll write that down 231.25 I'll cross that out because it's not in the range. So these two are the only answers which would be valid in that range. So if I went round again or I went backwards, I would get other values. Again, they wouldn't be in the range from 0 to 180. Right, so now we have to do exercise 10e on pages 218 to 219. Just remember on your class diagram yeah, that sometimes you might just go through once, you might go around twice, three times. Yeah, it all depends on the question. And that's going to be questions where you see um, like, like a two there or uh, a three there, something like that, maybe even a four. So just be be aware that um, you um, may need to go around, around more than once, and you always get your principal solution from your calculator. And then whatever's in the brackets here, let's say you had something like sine three x minus fifty, for example, then your principal solution, principal solution. Is going to be if it was this one three theta minus fifty equals your principal solution. Then you use your cast diagram. So cast diagram is next, and then after that you solve. So you'll have things written down like I don't know three theta minus fifty equals twenty or uh, 200 or uh, 380 things like this then you solve it and you work out what theta is okay